right, so uh, in this video, I kind of want to show the uh, soft limits and hard limits of servos and how to troubleshoot that if you have an uh, instance where you have a machine or something that has uh, limitations to it. So, um, and therefore understanding how to troubleshoot it. So, um, if this is for you, then this is the, you know, this is the actual video that you are wanting to look at. Um, so first off, first and foremost, understanding that, uh, open up the access properties of your servo. And again, um, in this instance, I'm showing a, uh, control or, uh, kinetic 6000. Um, but either way, whatever server you're running, they're all work the same. Uh, you have limitations. You have hard limits and soft limits. Hard limits are hardware devices. So a prox, uh, uh, whatever the case may be, it could be a prox photo aisle, whatever the case. Um, but either way, you have a, a hard hardware device attached to the hard limit. So if that's uh, wired up, uh, or if that's part of the system, if it's checked, then you do have something, you know, a physical device wired up to an input. Going back to the uh, K6K controller, the Kinetic 6000 controller. Uh, the soft limits, on the other hand, are they don't have to have any hardware devices to them. You can just set uh, soft limits based upon the servo encoder, right? So a lot of systems have that to protect from physical damage. So um, basically, the uh, whatever the soft, lim soft limits are set at, then if it exceeds that number, then the axis will fault out and say soft limit, uh, you know, upset. So uh, with that said. I'll show you this real quick, and uh, what we'll do is we'll pull this up, uh, we'll go to uh, monitor access tag. So right now, um, I'm currently at a position of 99. Uh, so what I want to do is pull my axis back up. I want to go to uh, limits, uh, lower this back down, and I'll show you exactly what that does. So right now, I have my system set at millimeters, and if I turn the motor, now watch it. See, everything is completely healthy, right? I have no faults. Everything's good. If I turn the motor past 100, then immediately it gets a fault. And the, down here in the fault, it says axis fault, physical axis fault, right? And then it says drive fault. The drive fault is a positive soft over travel. So that means the maximum positive over travel that I had, I set to 100. It exceeded 100 right here. And that's what caused the problem. So now how do I clear that? If I go to motion access direct right now, I can't clear it, right? I can't just clear the fault and it go away. Um, so how do I clear that? So either you a move the servo back to the under that position, right? You can physically move it back and then reset the fault. And I'm just using motion access direct commands. You can use uh, regular programming or whatever. So, you can reset it that way, or let's make it fault out again, or you can just raise the limit temporarily to allow you to be able to move it. If you can't, you do you do not have the ability to physically move it with your hands or or whatever, right? So a notice is still faulted out. Now I come in here. I'm just going to quickly show uh, motion X direct, reset it. Everything's happy. It's good. Now I've opened it up, so now I want to physically move it, right? So now I can go in here, motion, motion exit direct. I can tell it to come on. I can jog it. Uh, in this case, we're going to jog it reverse because obviously we're too close to our our limit, and we're just going to put it at a speed of two, and then uh, we'll just execute a jog. And the servo is running. You can see it's running. And I'm just getting it away from that tolerance, right? So then I'm going to go to a stop. Everything stops. Okay. And I'll cut the servo off. Okay. So with that instance, I'll come back here and I put my, my original soft limit back in. And that's good. So hopefully that gave you some clarity on uh, what the difference between hard limits and soft limits are and where to find them. Right, so if I didn't want to use soft limits, I can just ignore it altogether and run this servo way past. So let's just say, um, let's just say I wanted to cut it back on and I wanted to jog it and I want to jog it forward this time. And let's, let's do a, a 10. So now it's going to go way over 100 and it doesn't care if it goes over 100 because I'm not, I'm ignoring my soft limits. So hopefully that kind of uh, cleared up some air 
or cut up any kind of question if you had a question. Um, then hopefully that cleared up the, that question. So again, I come in here, cut my servo off uh, because basically I'm not running the system right now. And again, I don't have anything, any hard limits or any travel limits set, whatever. So the difference between hard limits and soft limits and the, um, you know, the limits, soft limits are based upon, again, the encoder. So you know how to get out of it, you know how to work on it. And I just wanted to kind of show a quick video on, on the, you know, in case you had a, a system like this anywhere um, that you have a machine that, that has soft limits built into it because a lot of coordinated motion systems do. And um, this is something I do cover under my motion mastery course. Uh, some of you do do know that. Uh, do have been through that already some of you uh, may not have known that if you haven't been following my channel um, just note uh, it'll be linked below uh, but I just wanted to kind of bring this um, bring this up um, as far as you know understanding the some uh, you know some tr help out with troubleshooting really I mean that's that's basically the, the system our, our intent of this video um, and to give you some understanding in case you didn't so um, Hopefully that did. Hopefully that helped you out. And uh, again, I'll close this video out and uh, look forward to making some more videos for you. Okay. Thank you.